Howdy, welcome to Fish Tales. Hey, I was out fishing a stock tank the other day and I found myself in need of a popper. So I improvised this little cork popper. It worked pretty good. So I decided to see what I could do to make some more. Kind of refine the process a little bit. And here's what I came up with. First thing I always do is flatten the barbs on these treble hooks. Actually, in all my hooks. It's a good idea because it makes it a whole lot easier to get it out of the back of your neck. All I'm going to do is make a, a tail of the fly. And it's a simple treble hook with a little bit of flash and a little bit of feather. This is pretty standard fly tying stuff. This is the simple parts. I mean, basically you're just strapping on some feathers to make it a little bit bushy. That little bit of flash on the end of it, it'll be cut to size at the, at the end of it. finish on it and don't skimp on the super glue. And that's about it. That's about the extent of the tying part. Now let me get a slip cork. That's just a little styrofoam cork. Ain't nothing fancy. I use them all the time. You get about 10 of them for a buck. I'm going to take that thing apart and work it. Here's how I do it. I made three of these things sitting there, and the first one I made a concave face on it. But all you really need to do is make it a cupped surface so that it pops when you pull it through the water. You need to clear out a path for the line to pass through. It is a slip cork still. Now I'm going to color it up a little bit. I just use regular permanent markers or Sharpies. Uh, I just happen to have yellow and black. I couldn't find my other markers, but you can use any color you want. You can get real fancy if you'd like. After you get it all pretty looking and everything is in order, it looks the way you want it to, uh, you notice that you can pass that uh, stick through there. That's because it needs to be hollow. All you're going to do is you're going to take the tail that you made on that treble hook, you're going to tie about 17 pound test line to it and run it through the whole thing. On this one, I put a couple of beads and on the other ones, I ran a bead up in the front so it would keep it in the center. Uh, it, you know, I just, they're just plastic beads that I had laying around. I made several varieties of this fly. Uh, but that kind of keeps it in the center. Don't worry about the thing moving back and forth. It's going to, but who cares? Fish don't care. You tie that line to the hook, you run it through the, the bobber, the cork, and uh, you tie a loop on the end of it using whatever kind of knot you want to use. Uh, and it works pretty good. It doesn't matter if that you know, float moves back and forth because when you start pulling it, it's going to go to the back of the fly. Uh, it pops pretty good. I used them on the Colorado River to do some real testing of it and I actually caught fish. <laughs> It's a pretty
pretty good little popper. Easy to make, cheap, and it works. Y'all get out there, tie you a couple of them. Go fish, catch something like that. Big old bass. Actually, that ain't very big, but that's a river bass. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.